Well, Activio has really pioneered a way to bring contextual relevance to any kind of information search. And it's really been recognized by Gartner and Forrester as one of the leaders in this space and has now been acquired by ServiceNow and is being fully incorporated into the ServiceNow suite of products so that as customers come into the workflow, they're able to see everything associated with a customer record. So you can think about a customer 360 use case. And it starts with uh, Stephen Baker, the chief executive and his management team. First and foremost, Stephen and that team have done a phenomenal job of adapting to the market, of really formulating a very strong value proposition to customers, and then really having outstanding word of mouth the company has done a tremendous job in landing a very high value market segment in the financial services and has enjoyed some, some wonderful client retention during the years. We had been partners with Ativio um, in my former job when I was uh, executive vice president at Tipco Software, running several of the analytics product groups. And it was very clear that our current capabilities had a blind hole in the world of unstructured data where Tivio really shines. And we forged an early working relationship, an early go-to-market relationship to try and talk to clients about a joint value proposition of data visualization plus contextually relevant document search and so forth. And, and that really snowballed into something more promising. I think for all board members, the tightrope that all board members have to walk is, it's really the management team that's running the business. And, you know, board members are there for perspective, independence, for hopefully having lived through similar experiences and helping the management team avoid scar tissue. And I think as a board member, particularly as chairman of the board, you want to be involved heavily enough in the business that you're completely aware of what's happening in the market, what's happening with customers, what's happening with the team. And at the same time, you really need to be distant enough to let the chief executive and his team really execute. And so I think that's the balancing rub. You are going to make a ton of mistakes. Everyone does. Everyone makes mistakes. As an entrepreneur launching a company and product market fit, your degrees of freedom are very, very limited. And lots of decisions that you make may look like two-way doors, but may in effect be one-way doors. We were in a bit of a crisis with a legal conflict that had been surfaced by one of our uh, counterparties. And, you know, it was a situation that at first we thought was very clear cut in our favor. I think it required some real independence and expertise to step back and acknowledge that there was much more gray zone than we had anticipated. Um, and I guess I think that's true, frankly, of many issues that come up, you know, so we look in Gesmer for a firm that could mobilize very quickly the right personnel that we were blessed with the partner. Kevin Peters did a fantastic job in reacting, getting deep into the issues, stepping back and taking the time to deliberate and to form, I think, a very balanced perspective for, you know, for us and then kind of taking the opponent side. And then ultimately, what I thought was just outstanding is really promulgating continuously kind of the answers in the envelope. This is a settlement case. This is not a litigation case. And that's in everyone's best interest. And it was phenomenal in helping to orchestrate that outcome
um, we can measure that value in quite literally millions of dollars of avoided costs. So the stakes were fairly high. Um, this was a, a claim that of a contract breach that had the potential to escalate into um, a pretty serious matter. And I think by coming out with an extremely defensible, simple and intuitive um, negotiating position that pointed out many of the weaknesses of the party that instigated this, uh, this claim, Kevin was able to really undermine their confidence that they had an easy road paved ahead for them. I appreciated Kevin, despite the fact we wanted everything yesterday, Kevin also managed expectations exceptionally well. You know, you aren't gonna get it yesterday. You know, this is an issue that requires some meaningful research. Um, you'll get it when the research is done because that's when the best advice can come. And so I think that all of those things, you know, wrapped into, you know, a very good person with, uh, you know, with nice sense of humor and, and a wonderful communicator is um, just a rare and special thing to have. So we're, we're delighted with uh, Kevin and Gesmer and would look forward to having an opportunity to work again because I know it would come out with a great outcome for us. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like more information, please check us out on social media or visit our website, gesmer.com.